happy holidays welcome back to my channel it's your girl tonight bella where's tommy's girl and i'm so excited to see each and every one of you here today to all my new subscribers welcome to the bella gang to all my former subscribers thanks for coming back and on today's video i'll be showing you my beautiful barbie okay my life-size barbie and i'm going to be giving her a birthday glam but today i'm going to show you the eyes so the very first thing we're going to go ahead and do is obviously do her brows and clean it up for her because they were uh, undone, untouched. Now that I've cleaned her eyebrows up, I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. And baby, we have brows, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and use this LA Girl in the color Fawn as the base. And then we're going to go ahead and buff it in with this Real Technique brush just to make sure that all of her colors are very vibrant when we start to put them on. And this is the first step you're gonna do. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is go into this The Warrior palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this color as her transition color. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping into the palette and patting it onto her eye so that I can pack it all in and get all of that pigment. This is what her eye is looking after I've patted in and this is her so after we've used that color, we're going to go ahead and go into the Warrior 2 palette by Julia's Place. So I have one in the two, but this is the two. And I went in into the dark, like a light brown. Um, it's like, it's called Kaufur. Girl, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's K-U-F-U-R-U. That's what I'm using. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the Julia's Palace 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the color Nano. And then we're going to go ahead and start to cut that crease. The easiest way to get the perfect cuff crease is to put some concealer on top of the eye and have your person look up and kind of like roll their eyes so that it can go up to the socket and the area where you can begin to cut the crease. Now you're going to have to be very precise when you're doing this. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I'll put the number down in the description box. And then I'm going to go into using this little cheap wet and wild brush. I bought it from the Dollar Tree, y'all. And this brush is very good with precision. And making sure that you get every little cut and detail that you want. So that is my final one where I really kind of like clean up my cut crease. But I use the inside of Beverly Hills to cover more eyelid. If that makes any sense. Then you're going to go ahead and buff that back in. And then now we're going to go ahead and begin to put our colors. So now we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing that we did on top. On the bottom except for we're going in different angles now. So very first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use that color um, Kano on the outside. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the color Kafari. Once again, I don't know what it's called, so I just showed you guys what it is. That color right there, we're going to go ahead and use it next. For whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So what I like to do is I like to do one side in whatever order and pattern that I'm doing it and then do the other side at the same time because I don't want it to get and mix the colors up. <laughs> baby we have color if you can see we have a nice cut crease starting to form so now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the darkest brown that I have in the Juvia's one palette and it's the color Mano I am using this color on the outside and I'm very I'm using very light hand with it because this is a very pigmented color and if you put too much it can start to turn black but I promise you y'all this is not black this is dark brown but honey I want all of the smoke okay so that's why she has this on the outside of her eyes and as you can see the eyes are starting to form very beautifully 
So now I'm going to go ahead and buff it in because I don't want it to be so harsh. And I also want it to blend in with the color that's in front of it. Now we're going to go ahead and use our first transition color with the shimmer in it and it's called Amina from the Warrior Palette, the Warrior 1 palette. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the center of her eyes. Now as you can see the eyes are starting to be gorgeous. Okay honey? Now we're going to go ahead and go into our second color and that's the color in the middle and it is called More Mia or Mia More. Once again, cannot pronounce these names, but baby, you see the color. You see the color for y'all. Okay, honey? We have beautiful eyes now. Now I'm going to go back into the Warrior 2 palette, and I'm going to go ahead and use that brown Kafara. Kafari girl. I can't pronounce it, but you see what I'm talking about. Because we kind of lost that color when we put the gold in. And I really want that color to really show. Then we're going to go ahead and kind of like move the shimmer in the um, brown color. So it looks like a smooth transition. Because right now it's looking hard. So we're really just going to go ahead and buff it in. Um, we're not going to press hard, honey. We're just going to go nice and soft. So that we can move the shadow around and so that it can look like a smooth transition. So now we're going to go ahead and use the color Lemonade by J. LaRue. This is the Loose Glitter Pigment and it is so pretty. Baby, if I'm going to do your makeup, we're going to show out. We're pulling all the stops, okay? And baby girl had to have this gold on it. I feel like it really went well with the um, Warrior palette colors. And, you know, it could I could have left it like this. But to be honest, I just wanted that gold to really pop. And I felt like this was appropriate. So, no, I did not put any glue on the lids. I, all I did was tap into it and tap it on the lids. Like, I really didn't need anything because whatever J. LaRue put on her pigments, they're very easy to stay on. They don't fall out after the fact. I really do love this pigment. And baby, here we are. If you don't learn anything from my video, just know that lashes are very important. Just don't throw on any lashes because it can really throw off the look. And now we're going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. And here is baby girl with one side on and one side off. You can really see the difference in the drama, honey. Okay, I want all the drama. And this is what baby girl... And baby, here we are with the final reveal. Baby girl waited last minute to tell me she was wearing silver accessories. So I went ahead and threw in some rhinestones on the bottom and then on the top of her eye. As well as putting that dark brown on the outside under her eyes. So that's it for today. Make sure you look out for part two so you can see the full beat down and the full face. Don't forget to head over to my channel and watch some of my other beauty tutorials. Hopefully this was helpful and very informative. As always, love you. Bye. And I'll see you in the next video.